Nana, 99 Luft balloons, or 99 red balloons. All right, so I'll just jam through all the different sections for this song. Um, kind of just the same progression for most of it, but uh, I'll just play through each part right off the top here, let you hear it all. Um, afterwards, I'll go back through and uh, guide you through it a little more, tell you what's going on with a little more in-depth uh, instruction. Um, before we get to all that, do me a huge favor, help out the channel, hit that subscription button. I put out videos pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss that. And uh, all right, with that out of the way, let's get on to Nana, 99 Lift Balloons. Okay, so we get this intro uh, synth chord progression that happens, and this is essentially the, the progression that happens throughout the bulk of the song, if not all of it, um, but this dynamic, it's just kind of that solo synth with the vocal, it happens at the very beginning and it happens at the very end too, all right, and all it is, we're just going to do an E chord for a measure, okay, and we'll move up to the F sharp minor, so just bar that two with the four on the A and the D, one measure. Okay, move over to the A chord. And then finish the last measure with the B chord. All right, pretty basic there. And basically just go through that four times. Okay, now we get into like the funky parts. Um, fun to play these here. Uh, I'll show you the the uh, synth riff that's happening. Um, so if you want to play that part, and then I'll also show you what the actual recorded guitar is doing. All right. So uh, for the synth guitar, we're gonna come over here. We'll just be at the second fret on the D. We're gonna hit it, give it a little stutter there, and then hit it once more. Go to four A, back to two D, and then back to the four on the A. Okay, so just this kind of little back and forth there. All right, so first measure there. And initially, uh, the first four measures here, um, we'll just do that first little bit, and then we'll rest a measure. 
and then we'll go to this uh, where we kind of just end it differently where we go same deal uh, two on the D uh, hold a moment hit it again back to the 4A 2D 4A okay just like we did initially but instead of, of resting that following measure for the last measure we just come up and hit the open E and just let that open E ring out so you do that whole entire thing four times initially. Okay, and after you go through that four times, uh, we essentially keep doing the same thing. We just make that, that rest measure that we do every other time. We just put a little something in there. Okay, so we start it the same way we usually do. All right, but now we're gonna do this bit where we come up to four on the D, hit it and slide it up to six, come back down to the four, and then to the two on the D. Okay. All right, and third measure, same as the first measure. All right, and now we end this uh, pattern here, These, this group of four measures, we end this differently by coming over to the two on the A. And we just hit a couple of them quick, uh, cut a moment, and then we hit a couple more, just spread out a little more. Okay, something like that, like two close, and then two a little spread out. Right. Okay, so put that together. And as far as for what the guitar, the recorded guitar, is actually doing for that section, um, initially, it's just kind of hitting these uh, kind of slapped, pulled, like open E notes. So you can just kind of be loose with that. Just kind of hit them at, towards the end of, you know, each one of the little uh, progressions. Just and then uh, adds a little more where we just kind of hit one, a couple close, and then one more. Something like that, you know, just kind of getting real loose and just slap funky with those open E's, sprinkle them through there, whatever. And uh, once we get to uh, the next section where it's um, a little busier, you know, uh, the guitar comes in and it's just kind of hitting these small little like funk sounding chords. So uh, basically it's just like a uh, voicing of an E. All right, so we do the four on the uh, G with the five on the B and then the open E under it. And it's just kind of like a hit a couple, you know, every other beat, you know, and then the following measure, just hit a couple close, hold it, and hit one to finish the measure. All right? It's just kind of like jamming around on those little funk chords for uh, the last, you know, four measures of that, that whole section. Just get a little loose, get funky with it. All right, now we get into like the more rocking section of the so the song here, where uh, the pace picks up and uh, guitar switches over to. Uh, kind of like power chords, just five chords, and it's the same progression, the E to the F sharp to the A to the B, we're just doing like the power chord shapes, all right, so um, initially it's just going to be uh, that progression with the power chords, and we're going to do like some uh, eighth note down strums, you know, and you want to kind of slightly palm mute too, because it's kind of like the rockin' punk rock part, you know. 
here. So like I said, just a measure of E, measure of F sharp, measure of A, and then B. All right. Go through that about four times. And then uh, we just get to this section where uh, there's like a synth in uh, instrumental that comes in to accompany this part, uh, the no vocal, but it's the guitar just switches to like single strums unmuted of those power chord uh, shapes. Same progression. All right, so we would just hit, hit them open. All right, you go through that a couple times. And then after we go through that, then the vocal comes back in and we switch back to our eighth note strumming with the palm mutes. All right, and we do that progression uh, again four times. Okay, and as I mentioned, uh, for the upbeat section of the song, when the guitar switches over to this, those single strums where there's no vocal, that uh, synth instrumental comes in, and essentially all that it's doing is it's just uh, you know paralleling what the uh, vocal line is doing. Okay, so we could play that this way, where we're going to be uh, two on the high E. We go two, four, open, back to four. Okay. Next measure, we go two open on the E to two B. Hit four E just before the measure is out. Okay, next measure, come over to two on the E, hit a couple opens, and then finish on a two B. All right, and the last uh, fourth measure here, uh, we do open E to two B, Open E, 2 E. See, like I said, it's just following the vocal. So that first four measure should just sound just like the vocal melody there. Okay. And essentially we're gonna go through it again, but we're just gonna change that last measure. Okay, so the first three measures, we just basically repeat. Okay, but now we're going to come up and we're going to go 7 on the E, down to 4, 2, open. Okay, so just a little difference at the end there. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.